Here's a possible circuit for indicating whether or not a voltage is live on the lab uh, PSU. So uh, the simulator I'm using doesn't have any LM338, so I'm using an LM317, but the principle's the same. Uh, so I have 19 volts coming in on the AC-DC convert on the left-hand side into the LM317. And then using the formula, which is above there, uh, the combination that I've got of 9.5K and 1.1K for the uh, voltage divider should give an output of 12 volts. So that 12 volts can then go and be useful for the rest of the circuit, but also I've taken a 1K resistor off that to the base of a MOSFET. And then if that is activated, the theory is that uh, that the um, MOSFET will be turned on and you'll get current flowing through the 3.3K resistor through the LED uh, down to uh, ground. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start the simulator, see if this is going to work at least on the simulator. So we'll close the switch to, so this would be one of the switches that we say, okay, we want 12 volts, so we start it. And you can see there that indeed we've got 12 volts coming out and across that indicating uh, diode, uh, we're getting about 3 milliamps and, uh, and the 12 volts that we expect. Uh, the next thing to do then is to turn on the actual load itself. So I've simulated this with a very small resistance, 3.3 uh, ohms and an LED again. And uh, what I'm interested in is will this affect the 3 milliamps coming through the LED. So let's try that. And no, in fact, that's got 3 amps coming through it. The LED indicator is still 3 milliamps and is on. And we're also getting 12 volts across both of those measuring points. So I think the next thing to do is to breadboard it up for at least the 12 volts, if not also the 5 volts and the 3.3 volts, and uh, and try out these. I may have to change, you know, obviously the um, the resistors that are coming into that indicator LED, such that uh, they're approximately the same illumination with the same current going through. So I'll do a little bit of experimentation with that on the bench and bring you along for the ride, and we'll see how that goes. The PSU project is in its final phase, I think. Um, what I've done here on the breadboard is I've set up my LM338s. So this is the going to be the 12 volt version. Uh, this will be configured to be 5 volts and this will be configured to be 3.3. The switching voltage uh, regulator is has got 19 volts coming in. And then the idea is that it's set to uh, about two and a half, three volts above what's required, and that's the that's the dropout uh, voltage of these LM338s. So if you're looking for 12 volts, then this will be set to 15. If you're looking for five volts, this will be set to eight and 3.3 around five and a half. And the whole idea of that is that uh, this thing wears the efficiency of the of the conversion, the major conversion. So if you're thinking about, let's say, all the way down to 3.3 volts with 19 coming in then the, uh, the switching voltage uh, regulator will be able to do that fairly efficiently. And then the last little bit with extra stability will come through the LM338, which is a linear voltage regulator. That's the plan. So here I've got uh, my configuration is 1K and a 10K pot. This is a pretty crude 10K pot, so I'll be probably swapping that out actually in the, well, I will be swapping out in the final version for a multi-turn uh, 10K pot, which will give me a lot more accuracy. I was thinking at one stage that I might put that on the outside of the PSU, but I have a suspicion that what I'll probably end up doing is fiddling with it too much. So I think putting it inside means that it will be a bit of fiddling to uh, take off the back and, and adjust it in terms of um, you know, getting exactly 12 volts. And of course, I will probably need to do that. Um, I mean, it's currently something like five degrees in a Tasmanian winter, uh, but it could in this in this uh, workshop be you know anywhere up to maybe even thirty degrees. So, uh, you know, that LM three three eight is temperature dependent. So I will need some way of uh, of calibrating it or adjusting it, and um, and so that pot will need to be available, but perhaps not too available. So this one is set to 12 volts, and um, the other thing that I wanted was some indication on the front of the PSU for when the circuit is live. So I'll have a switch. Uh, I was gonna put this button here, but in fact, I didn't end up doing it. It got real busy 
this breadboard and so I didn't end up putting a button there but I'll have a switch and then what I want is an indicator that the circuit is live the 12 volt the 5 or the 3.3 so in order to do that, I've taken a 1K uh, resistor away from the output, so that's coming out at 12 volts, to a BS170, which is a MOSFET. And the reason I've used a MOSFET and not my old uh, favourite BJT, which is the SS8050, is that uh, the BJT will be current uh, dependent whereas this is voltage dependent so as soon as it sees the voltage the gate uh, will allow current to flow and that will give me an indication here by this LED that the circuit is live. In the meantime that 12 volts can be drawn off or not as uh, depending on whether it's a load or not. So as is currently configured we've got 19 volts this is, this is set to 15 the LM338 is configured to 12 the MOSFET should be able to pull that off and, and um, get an indicator here that the circuit is live when we switch it on. And then finally we can plug this in, it's not connected at the moment, and, uh, and that should uh, not affect, if you like, what's happening with the LED. That's the plan. So let's get that underway. Yep, so that's uh, 15 volts coming in, and uh, we're reading 12 here coming out of the LM338. The MOSFET seems to be working fine, so that LED is working fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a load. So I've just got a uh, an LED shining brightly here. And uh, yeah, that has um, no effect on the LED, so you can still see that the circuit is live, which is good. A little bit of effect on the, on the voltage, drawing so much um, current off there. Um, so it's at one and a half watts roughly. Uh, and then when we take that off, Yep, that's still, that LED is still indicating that the circuit is live. And then, uh, yeah, flick a switch at some stage and, uh, and the LED is off. So I think that's proof of uh, concept. I, I think this is very, very busy at the moment and I don't really want to set all of these up on this one breadboard. So I'm going to mock up uh, the PCB, how it will eventually end up being. A multi-turn 10K pot for accuracy when we're calibrating. An LM338, which will include a heat sink because there will be some heat dissipated. Still unsure about the ratings for these resistors. So I've got a little bit of research to do on that. I'm pretty happy with the BS170 being the MOSFET on duty. And uh, I'll just put, yeah, probably these little uh, five millimeter LEDs in here for indicator lights. And, uh, and we can test it under the load. Then the uh, the last stage of this will be to um, 3D print the box, put it all together, switch it on, and uh, away we go. Our own home-designed uh, lab PSU, which will be awesome. Uh, that's the circuit working for this week. See you next time.